Good morning and happy Friday. This is Dr. Thomas Bartell, board certified plastic surgeon specializing in body recontouring surgery. Uh, this morning I thought I'd uh, circle back and talk a little bit about uh, one of the most frequent operations that I do, which is uh, tummy tucks, abdominoplasty. Uh, now this is a procedure that I am asked to uh, perform many times because of women. The most uh, uh, common reason is a woman who has had uh, one or more pregnancies. Uh, although I increasingly also take care of patients who have had a significant amount of weight loss. Now, abdominoplasty has a number of components to it. Um, the way I uh, envision uh, performing this type of body recontouring is looking at all the various components that, is, uh, that are problems and addressing each one. Uh, the first component is the skin. Uh, Often there's excess skin, especially in patients who've had a significant body weight loss, either through surgical or just dieting. And they have a lot of excess skin, and they have quite a bit of excess skin. The second component is the fatty layer. Most patients come in, they say they need a tummy tuck because they've got a lot of excess fat. Well, that may or may not be true, but that fat tends to um, accumulate around our midsection as we get older. Just cost of living on the planet. So what we do there, of course, is perform some liposuctioning for the uh, uh, excess fat. And the third uh, component is the foundation. Now this is a layer that gets stretched out from pregnancy, just like the skin gets stretched out. That's the way the system works. As the uterus expands, the patient gets more pregnant, the rectus muscles, the abdominal muscles that were right here originally split apart, allowing the uterus to expand in between. Now, uh, the muscles have a fascia between them, which is a, uh, a very uh, heavy duty uh, uh, connective tissue that so it doesn't allow a, a hernia to form, but it also doesn't respond to exercise. So when the, your, the baby is delivered and the muscles tend to go back to some extent, they don't go back all the way. So there's still a, a separation in between the muscles with fascia in between. But this layer of foundation, muscle and fascia, is now has a higher surface area so it balloons out like a sail. So uh, that's what gives most women who have had a pregnancy a little bit of a pouch down here. It's not necessarily just fat, it's the foundation. And you can suction that till the cows come home and it ain't gonna solve the problem. So typically for most women who have had a pregnancy, uh, I start off with doing some suctioning up high, a little suctioning on the waist area down on the hips because I get a much nicer contour that way. I don't bother suctioning down here below the belly button because that's the piece that I'm going to be taking off. And then I make an incision that's very low. I want to keep a tummy tuck scar as low as possible. I want to keep it under a two-piece bathing suit. So I keep it very, very low. Now it does flare up a little bit because that's what bathing suits do. Uh, and now that's not an incision that goes deep inside you. That just goes to, down to the foundation. I lift everything up. I repair the foundation, get that nice and tight the way it was before the pregnancy. I then pull down on this flap of stuff that I lifted up and I trim off what I don't need, which is usually a piece of you this big, it might be even this big on some patients. And then I put everything back. I put my stitches in, I cut a new little hole for your belly button to come out. It's your, your belly button, it stays right where it was before, but the skin around it has moved down. And I usually create a nicer shape for your belly button than the one before. And then I, uh, as I say, put in uh, my stitches, I usually a couple of drainage tubes, wrap you up in a corset, and off you go. Now this is work that we do in our own uh, accredited surgery center. It takes me about two and a half hours to do the average tummy tuck. You spend another 45 minutes in the recovery room and then someone else drives you back home. Most ladies who are at desk jobs can be back to work within five to seven days after something like this, but no heavy lifting, nothing heavier than your shoes or your purse. And I know some purses are bigger than others, but be reasonable with me. Nothing heavier than 10, 15 pounds at the most for three weeks. Um, it's a great operation. You have to be able to put up with a scar for a while. You know, scars get red and hard for a while, but they gradually fade and soften, turn into a thin little white line. And again, I try to put these scars in a place that only your very closest friends will ever see. 
So that's kind of how that one works. Uh, but it's a very high patient satisfaction procedure. As I say, it's, it's usually about the second most frequent operation I do. I do a lot of these. So anyway, that's how uh, uh, tummy tucks work. Uh, as some of you may know, I wasn't here last week because I was fulfilling a very important job as father of the bride. There's the bride. Good looking, good looking young lady. Uh, and as you can see, I'm walking down. I'm managing to hold it together. Uh, and I was wearing this tie and I just wanted to read what it says. This was a gift from my daughter just before we uh, walked down the aisle. It says, Dad, of all the walks we've taken, this one is my favorite. So, anyway, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, hope to see you next week. You have a good weekend and take care. Bye-bye.